Alright, this is number four from the 2009 AB exam, and it's pretty much the basic uh, area volume question. Um, so, you got to be prepared for these, because there's pretty much one every single year. Um, this one happens to be not in calculator. So, we are given the region, we're given where the um, curves intersect, and we're given the curves. And we're asked to find the area of R. So, I mean, that's the area of R. And hopefully at this point you know that to find that area we do the integral from A to B of uh, top takeaway bottom. So from 0 to 2 of the top curve minus the bottom curve, we integrate that to get um, x squared minus 1 third x cubed. We're going to evaluate 0 and 2. Um, at 2 we get 4 minus 8 thirds. And then uh, 0 is a great value to have to plug in because it typically gives you zeros. Um, so we end up just getting four thirds. Uh, and that's our answer. Uh, we're done and we're moving on. Uh, the next part is uh, a volume where we know the cross sections. So we're not rotating anything here. We just know what the cross sections look like. You have to know that to find that volume, it's going to be the integral from a to b of um, a of x dx, where a of x is the area as a function of x. Um, in this case, that's because we're perpendicular to the x-axis. Um, perpendicular to the y-axis, we'd have to have the area in terms of y. Um, so, they actually give us what the area is. I mean, I don't know what they're trying to test here, um, other than, I guess, this concept and can you do this integral. So, I need to integrate sine of pi over 2x. Um, so, in my mind, I'm thinking that u is pi over 2x, which means that um, du would be um, pi over 2 dx. So, I need a pi over 2, which means on the outside of this integral, there'll be a 2 over pi. Um, then the integral of sine is going to be negative cosine, and then uh, pi over 2x. And then I need to evaluate this at 0 and 2. Um, when I plug in 2, I end up with the cosine of pi, which is negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 2 over pi is just 2 over pi. Um, minus, when I plug in 0, I end up with the cosine of 0, which is 1. So 1 times negative 2 over pi, which is negative 2 over pi. So 2 over pi minus negative 2 over pi is... 4 over pi, um, and that's my answer to that. And then this next question, uh, you got to pay attention because on this one they tell you that it's perpendicular to the y-axis. Uh, they didn't underline y-axis. Sometimes they do uh, because it's you know abnormal. Usually it involves the x-axis, but be on the lookout for that. Um, so that means that uh, the little slice I'm making is uh, kind of like the one I've drawn in here. It's perpendicular to the y-axis, um, so I have to rewrite everything. Um, so this curve, instead of y equaling 2x, is now x equals y over 2. This curve, instead of being y equals x squared, is now x equals radical y. Um, and now the bounds that I'm going to integrate over change as well. Instead of going from 0 to 2, which are x values, I'm going to go from 0 up to 4. So my integral ends up this, uh, 0 to 4, and then uh, radical y, because that's the right-hand curve, minus y over 2, because that's the left-hand curve, they tell me that it's a square that I'm dealing with, so I have to square that, and then dy. Um, so that's actually the answer to this, but let me just explain a little more. So the cross-sections are squares, and the area of a square is side squared. And then in this case, because we're perpendicular to the y-axis, um, the side is going to be the right-hand curve minus the left-hand curve. Um, and you can see that the right-hand curve and the left-hand curve are those. Um, so that's pretty much the entire thing, and I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.